congregation of Swan Lake Free Church, I have a charge for you as well. And of all the the good biblical charges I could give you, I, I've, I've had to select one, and um, it's a it's a common one. I've given this charge to other congregations. You can maybe guess what I'm about to say on this. But I want you to know that I'm not just saying this because it's sort of the right thing to say. I'm saying it because it is so profoundly important and I, I don't want you to lose sight of it. If you are already doing this, uh, praise the Lord, keep going and keep going deeper. And if you need to pick this up, if you need to renew this or begin this in your own lives individually and together, Please do that. This is my charge, and it is simply this. Pray for Pastor James. Pray for Pastor James. It is one of the most basic, most important, and most influential and consequential things you can do for your new pastor. Pray for him. And let me just... Uh, offer two angles. Uh, we could offer many angles to this. Let me just offer two angles uh, to you, two aspects of praying for Pastor James. Number one, I, I charge you to pray for him robustly. Pray for him robustly. Don't just pray, Lord bless Pastor James. Pray for him with your heart and your mind engaged in, in scriptural values, scriptural grooves. Take the scripture that you have learned or are learning and turn that back into prayer for him. Um, for example, take the prayers of, of Paul the Apostle, the prayers that he prayed for Christ's church, and let those be a template for your praying for James. So Colossians 1, Lord, fill Pastor James with the knowledge of your will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding that he might walk in a manner worthy of you to please you in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work and growing in the knowledge of you. Or Paul's prayer in his letters to the Thessalonians, Lord, Encourage James's heart and strengthen him in every good work and word. Lord, direct Pastor James's heart into the love of God and the perseverance of Christ. Or uh, take the things you're learning in your own reading and meditation of the scriptures, turn those back into prayer in behalf of Pastor James to the Lord. Pray robustly for him. He will welcome that, and that will be such a blessing to him and then spreading out to the whole congregation. The other thing I'd like to challenge you and charge you with in terms of praying for him is this. Uh, um, you've heard it said before, it's good for us to be reminded. Um, talk to God about James before you talk to James, and especially before you talk to others about James. I imagine three blocks, three building blocks. Talking to God about James is the foundational bottom building block. In your ongoing relationship with Pastor James, and you know that the relationship between the congregation and the pastor um, is a is a, a delicate thing, sometimes a, a, a dynamic that has issues to it and so on. Praying for him, talking to God about him and for him should be basic in your relationship with James. And then on top of that, talk to James directly. If, if you have difficulties with him, if as time unfolds and you're trying to get used to uh, the newness of who he is and his style and so on, and uh, there are things that, that you're, you would like him to do a little different or whatever, concerns that you have, 
Talk to God about that first. The Lord may give you insight and peace, and you may just leave it with him and let him work it out, and that'll be a very good thing. If you need to talk further, go to James directly. Talk to him directly. That's the second building block. Don't talk to other people about troubles you have with James. Unless you're going to someone more mature and you're saying, would you help me communicate with James? Would you help me talk this over with him? Pastor James wants you to come to him directly and not be talking about him in a negative way to others. The order of these things is very important. Be praying for James regularly. That will shape the way that you talk with him. And then the third building block on the top can be talking to others about James, but then that is commending him, encouraging him, praising him to others, complimenting him to others. That kind of talk about him can come about when those other two blocks are firmly in place. Just be sure you're not talking to others negatively about James because you're neglecting to talk to God about James and then talking to James directly. If that pattern is not followed, it can create a lot of difficulties in churches, which um, we've seen across the landscape over the years. So, congregation, thanks for letting me remind you of this. I know I'm not telling you anything new here, but I think it's worth uh, hearing again, all of us, this important uh, priority of praying for your pastor in a robust way, according to Scripture, and making prayer the foundation of your relationship with Pastor James, that those dynamics of communication will be healthy. Blessings to you all. Thanks again for letting me be a part of this special day, Pastor James's first Sunday with you all. Uh, I wish you all again God's very best in the power of his spirit for the glory of Christ, for the good of his church, and the good of the harvest field around you. Blessings to you.